Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery, and today I'm going to talk to you about Garmin G5s, uh, particularly as used as the attitude indicator and as an HSI in an aircraft. And I'm going to talk to you about um, the need for pitot-static uh, inputs into them, and number two, about their battery backup life capability and what you need to check for when um, determining if the batteries are acceptable for flying the aircraft or if whether or not the Garmin G5s need to be serviced for the batteries. So you can see in this aircraft, in this six pack, we've replaced the traditional um, vacuum, engine driven vacuum pump, uh, attitude indicator and heading indicator, directional gyro, with these two Garmin G5s, one being configured as an attitude indicator and the second one being configured as an HSI or horizontal situational indicator. You'll notice that the battery life on them is 100% in this case and 82% in this one. Uh, these guys have the capability to run up to four hours um, on the battery that's built into each one of these. Um, and why are the batteries built into these units? Well, the reason for it is in the traditional old school attitude indicator and, and directional gyro that are engine driven vacuum pump powered, um, and normally you see a gauge over here that shows you your vacuum pump um, pressure. Um, if in the event you lost the alternator and then the battery, those two, in, those two instruments would still operate even in um, a no electrical system type system. As long as the engine ran, you'd have an um, engine driven vacuum pump running, those traditional attitude indicators and directional gyro would still operate. However, when these two pieces of avionics were put on board in place of those two units and the vacuum pump went away, uh, it was required that these units have a battery backup capability to allow the person to fly the aircraft, the pilot to fly the aircraft uh, for an extended period of time. As you can see here, um, this one is showing four, point, uh, four, minute, four hours and 28 minutes, and this one's showing about three hours and six minutes on it. And so um, if there's a failure on the alternator and eventually the battery goes out, these two units will still operate and give you your um, attitude indication and your heading indicator. Um, I also like to say too that um, the pitot-static system that normally is required to run the airspeed indicator, the altitude, um, and the vertical speed for providing information for ram air and static air pressure, um, though they were not required in the traditional um, attitude indicator and heading gyro, they are actually required, the pitot-static system is required uh, for these units so that they can provide secondary information or backup information in regards to airspeed, um, altitude, um, and other types of information, but mainly airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed climb. So um, when you're thinking about pitot static system in an aircraft like this, it's required for the airspeed indicator, altitude, or altimeter, the vertical speed, but also uh, your Garmin G5s when they're being configured for attitude indication. So again, these Garmin G5s, uh, they're replacing the attitude indicator and the directional gyro. Um, if we want to check the battery life status on it, we just hit the on button. And after a few seconds, it'll come up. And we can see we have 99% battery life still available on this particular attitude indicator uh, Garmin G5. Um, after about a minute, it'll revert and it'll show you how many mi hours and minutes you actually have left on it. If there's less than an hour left of time on this unit, or the HSI, I don't know if I've turned on right now, you need to allow the thing to charge up via the um, alternator or battery um, of the aircraft. And if after some period of time, the Garmin G5s are not getting at least a minimum of hour um, of battery backup capability, the batteries inside these need to be replaced. Another neat feature associated with the Garmin G5s is see this HSI down here. If I push this button, I can scroll over here to primary flight display, and now my HSI is a backup primary flight display if I need it. And all I have to do to revert it back is push that button, go back to HSI, select that, and now it's back in HSI mode. So that's it on Garmin G5s and their need for the pitot-static uh, support input into them as well as what's required for battery life and, and a little bit about the history 
on why they even have battery capability built in. They're extremely very cool instruments to have in the aircraft. They have a lot more added functionality. Literally the, the attitude indicator is a six pack within a six pack. And even the HSI that I showed you um, can easily be uh, tapped by one button and converted into a primary flight display as well. So you can revert between HSI and PFD mode um, in that as well. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.